Hey guys, so today I am doing a makeup tutorial on uh, this look. So bear in mind, I am not a professional at all. I am just doing makeup because I love makeup and I love playing around with makeup and it makes me happy. Makeup for me is just something that I really enjoy and I love like expressing my creativity on my face so uh yeah i hope you guys really enjoy this video please comment down below if you do and okay let's go to the tutorial <laughs> I am going to start out by applying moisturizer. This is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Moisturizer. For foundation today, I'm going to be using the Hourglass Stick Vanish Foundation. I, I hate this foundation so much. It's just, it does not work for me at all. But this is the only thing that I have that is in my color so I am putting on a lot today because my skin looks awful just horrible at the moment I don't know I just feel like this foundation is so hard to blend I feel like I have to press it so hard I'm just too cheap to go out and buy another foundation okay that took forever next I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape of course I'm going to be applying a lot of this because I have dark circles that need to be concealed yesterday I tweeted this picture and I asked like oh do you guys want a makeup tutorial on this look and basically everyone said yes. So I don't know, I'm just kind of thinking about that I should do more makeup tutorials. I'm going to set my face using the Airspun uh, Loose Powder. Not just gonna set my face, I'm going to bake my face, like bake. I'm trying so hard not to get powder all over my boyfriend's hoodie. <laughs> I'm like Patrick Starr, you know, like just bake everything. Okay, oh my God. Okay, we're good. I have a few topics that I want to discuss. So this is gonna sound odd, but I have wanted to make a video about my name for a long time. So, <laughs> this is gonna be so weird. I'm using the Hula Bronzer in light to bronze my face. And okay, I'm gonna talk now. My name is not Cassidy. Uh, that that is a <laughs> a fake name that I made up when I um, started my YouTube channel. I am from Iceland, as many of you guys know, and my language is obviously Icelandic. So that means that my name is Icelandic. Cassidy is not an Icelandic name <laughs> at all. So my real name is actually Rapnildur. Um, yeah, <laughs> that sounds so weird. Uh, I don't know if I've ever said that on camera. My Instagram name is Raps, which is almost my full name. Like, my full name is Raphnildrapsdottir. By the way, I'm using the Marc Jacobs uh, 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 bronzer to contour with this brush. Um, so the reason why I have been using the name Cassidy for such a long time and why I don't just use my real name is well okay first of all no one would ever know how to spell Rapnildur it's a very difficult name uh, for people who are not from Iceland to a spell and b say I don't think any of you can actually pronounce my real name so that was like a business decision that I made when I was like I don't know 15 <laughs> and the other reason is um Ooh, look at that highlighter. The second reason why I named myself Cassidy is because YouTube... When, when I started YouTube, um, no one in Iceland was doing YouTube videos. Like, if you were doing YouTube videos, you were just weird. So, I did not want anyone in my high school to find my channel. So, if I would have named my channel, like, Rapnildur DIYs or something, everyone would have seen my channel and I, I, I really did not want that so I decided to just give myself a name and just I don't know celebrities they use fake names all the time for just like 
marketing reasons like Lady Gaga or Shia or like there are a lot of people who have who have like a stage name okay I'm just gonna finish my brows and then I will be back because I don't know the the brow part of makeup tutorials is just boring no one wants to see that so I'll be right back I feel like I should be like zooming you guys in but I don't know like this I don't know this okay this is nice yes trying to get out of the extreme Instagram brows uh, it's not going very well I don't know I've gotten a lot of shit for my brows and I get it but uh, this is what I got I cannot change this these are the palettes that I am going to use this is the Morphe 12p palette I freaking love um, colorful palettes I hate like palettes that have just brown um, copper, gold. I hate those. I this this is like my vibes. Um, I'm going to start out by using this brown color just for like a transition shade. For like uh, the brown and the orange, I have some more topics that I want to discuss. I really want to tell you guys about my new job. I had been working at IKEA for the last two and a half years, which which was okay. Um, Ikea is like a good side job. It was fun. So I am studying uh, literature and creative writing at university and I just felt like I should be doing something with my writing. I just felt like I was wasting my time at Ikea because that had nothing to do with um, what I'm studying or anything. So I really want to find a job that could help me with my future and you know, just I wanted to write. So I saw an ad for a very big social media company here in Iceland. Uh, if you're from Iceland, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, the name of the company is called Achtan, which means the eight. It's like a big deal here in Iceland and they make music videos. They have a website. They have a very popular Facebook page. They are the biggest social media company here in Iceland. So when I saw that, I was like, hey, um, I do YouTube videos. I am a social media influencer. This is a social media company. Why not just apply? I got a call back and the, and I had, oop, and I had to like audition to get in. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I felt like, I felt like I was auditioning for like the X Factor or something. And I don't know, the auditions went very good, so I uh, got another call back and a few weeks ago I started working there. And I don't know, I'm just so grateful for the opportunity and like all of the people there are so nice. And I don't know, I'm just really excited. So right now my job is I write articles for their website. And that is my job right now. Basically, all my dreams are coming true and I am so happy. So I'm just putting on some Tarte Shape Tape on my hand. I'm going to use this on a little pencil brush. I think it's called a pencil brush. And I am going to make a cut crease. Okay, so this eye is basically done. As you can tell, I went like a lot over my crease and then like a huge wing. Don't worry, this looks crazy right now, but this is going to look hella good. So I am so not a beauty guru. This is so hard. I'm like trying to be in focus. I'm trying to be in the shot. This is so hard. Like that. Okay. So now I am trying to recreate the other eye if I can. Okay, so I have been getting a lot of questions about if me and my boyfriend are still together and yes, we are and we are very, very happy. Um, I would honestly walk through fire for that boy, like I love him so much and oh, here we go. And a lot of people really want us to do like more videos together and I actually really really want to do that as well. And that would be super fun. Okay, now comes the fun part. So, I, 
So I'm going to use uh, this brush. This is a Morphe M172. These names, man, these names are so complicated. I'm gonna spray it with some Fix Plus. And the first color that I'm taking is the yellow color from the Morphe palette. And I'm doing like a yellow to red gradient on my on my eyes, so I am starting with the lightest color. Oh yeah. Do you see that? Oh, that's so, 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 so vibrant. Some like beauty guru YouTubers like prefer to do like this eye first and then this eye. Like, I don't like that at all. I have to do like the eyes at the same time. Otherwise I just get confused and I forget which color that I'm using. I don't know, maybe that's just, maybe that's me, I don't know. Then I'm going to be taking this yellow from the Juvia's Place palette. And this yellow is like one shade lighter than the other yellow. And I'm just gonna put it, put it, put it right uh, next to the other yellow. Blending and like gradients are definitely not my strong side but uh, but I am challenging myself and trying to step out of my comfort zone with my makeup so like a few videos ago I got a comment from a girl who was like oh my god you are wearing too much makeup and I was I was wearing a lot of makeup but that certainly does not justify her comment next I'm taking this orange from the Morphe palette so comments like that frustrate me so freaking much because makeup is just makeup like oh, i get so frustrated makeup comes off makeup is a form of art it's a form of expression it, i don't know why do people give other people shit for doing their hobbies like makeup is one of my biggest hobbies. Why would someone put another person down for doing something that they love, like doing their hobby? Like if that if if that were a guy who was just like painting on a piece of paper, no one would ever say like, "Oh, you have too much paint on there. Oh, you're painting too much. You should you should not paint that much." Why why is it so bad to put on a lot of makeup like uh, I don't know. I I never I will never get that. So now I'm going in with the red to like finish off the wing. I've been using the same brush this whole time, by the way. So that just proves that you don't need like a crazy amount of brushes and makeup and stuff to like to do looks like this. So if you guys are enjoying this makeup tutorial please let me know because I honestly I want to make more videos that you guys enjoy like right now I'm just making a lot of videos that I want to make but I also want to make you guys happy and now now I am going to put on some eyeliner and lashes and then we are almost done if I mess up this eyeliner, I'm going to be so pissed. Uh, okay, it's fine, it's fine. I'm also trying to not go overboard with the liner. Okay, this is good. This is going okay. There we go. That's how it's done. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera. I'll be back. I would love to do like makeup tutorials with like only colorful and creative looks like because I'm gonna do the bottom half of my eye now because I forgot to do that. I honestly don't care about the lower lash line at all like ugh. this takes me like five seconds or something 10 seconds. My bottom eyelashes are so freaking long uh, the mascara is gonna cover everything up, so I'm going to use these cocoa lashes in the style Amour and I will be back when they are on my face, on my eyeballs. 
Okay, so the lashes are on and I feel like hella good about this makeup look. And I am thinking about going all the way and putting on red lipstick. I don't know. I'm going to be brave today. I never ever ever use red lipstick. So this might be fun. I am so bad at applying lipstick. It's insane. Ugh. Yeah, I'm actually gonna move to my filming location. The lighting was a bit yellow over there. So uh, yeah. What do you guys think? This, I don't know, I feel like this looks good. I am proud of this. I had so much fun, honestly. I haven't sat down just to do my makeup for the longest time. And yeah, I really enjoyed this. So please let me guys know if you want more of these like colorful, fun makeup looks. And I really, really hope that I am not copying anyone because honestly, I did this look a couple of months ago and I did not copy anyone, I was just playing around so if anyone has done this look, I am so sorry, I'm not trying to copy you, so yeah. I thank you guys so much for watching, please follow me on Instagram and Twitter and yeah, thank you for watching and being there, I love you, okay, bye.